estás, amigos? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> we. It is Mary and Ama, and we are reviewing ninety day before. No, before the ninety days. Yes, the reunion part two in the yes. final parts of the season. Mm, um, mm. but we just gonna get right into it. Let's but we right invite you guys to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. And you know, hit that notification button. Yes. If you want to see more of these. Yes. But we are going to get right into it. I think we should probably start with just, um, no, let's talk about Usman and um, Kimbali. Kimbali. Girl, you Kimbali. Keep... Kimbali. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me land. Let me land. I was like. <laughs> let me land. Yeah, that must have been a new slight, you know, heard. <laughs> I just thought it was a mess. I mean, but. She really didn't want to talk about it because you knew goodness well you were going to stay with him. And I just feel bad for the son because it seems like he has had to go through this a million times. Like and comforting he, her. It is not like he ran out. He looked at her and was like, hmm, do I go now or do I go later? <laughs> like the son I has mean, been through this a thousand times. And the children, like they can't even focus on their own lives. They got to comfort parents. Yeah. Uh, anywho. I just thought it was really unfortunate, you know. And then he's like, We're not we're not what did he say that we're not even together or something he was trying to say. Anymore? But the thing is Usman was not even like defending well, like he wasn't even I don't know what to say. I felt like he wasn't being like apologetic. Yeah. He was just like, if I want to go F a lady, I can go F a lady. I, know, I was like, so eh. I know. I was Usman's, like, very crude. Usman very is now crude. cursing like that. I guess, you know. Yeah, I thought it was just a really a mess. I was I just know. like, you know. Yes, it's you, easy. It's easy for me to get to women. <sighs> I mean, my thing is though, I I hate to blame Kimberly, but girl, when you go there at 80 years old to go and push yourself up against a 20 year old. He's not it, 20, he's in his 30s. He's, oh, when you go, okay, 30s. well, girl, you push an 80. Mm. And you went to go push up on a 30-year-old. I mean, it just reads desperate. So, of course, he's going to treat you however, because you have made yourself desperate. And you knew damn well you weren't going nowhere. You're going to go cuss him out. You're going to go play Karen. And then, you know, you're going to go back to, you know, being with him. Yeah. And then guilt tripping him and making him feel bad this yeah. that and the third or whatever but you know you're not going nowhere so yeah. i mean girl like just give me a break yeah. you know just stop acting mad at this point <laughs> you know like because if you're going to continue to accept it it's like he's going to i mean that's why he's doing what he's doing as soon as you left this man went unbuttoned his shirt to laid himself down in probably the hotel that you were still paying for Showed he showed soldier boy necklace, necklace that, that you bought, bought him, for him to entice Go. Zara, and the only reason now that he's not with Zara and they're not talking, obviously she's not interested anymore. Yeah, probably doesn't take his calls, and that's why he's like, I am not even with her anymore. Mom, but he he also you know he also could be lying. He yeah, also that's could be lying. Thing. Because she was getting quite comfortable now. He looks as though he's getting quite comfortable yeah. with misbehaving. Yeah. So I honestly just the thought The old it was Usman, mess. I never would have thought he did something like this. But this one, this Usman here. Mm. Well, I mean, after the way that lady was so racist towards him and was treating so, ba- so badly. But after the way I was saying the N word. Yeah, I guess he I guess, yeah, has toughened him up. So I guess Kim, Kimbali is the one who's going to get. All the the nonsense for well, what I mean, he went through before. You're the one that opened yourself up to that when you went to go and ask a man to beg a man for sex. If that was a man doing that to a woman, we would have all been like, his her his ass needs to be arrested, and you That's should true. be arrested. Yeah, I mean, That's say true. I want sex That's and true. then trying to seduce and then him. Crying I and know. All that, so yeah. If a That's man true. did that to a woman, we will be up in arms. That's true. Like, I, it's not okay what Kimberly did. I yeah. do not have. It is not okay when older women go and prey on somebody who is old enough to be their son. I think that's weird. I mean, I'm not going to talk about praying on no Usman. I mean, well, Usman, I mean, I, I mean, Usman he's thirty, thing, but I mean, so years old. You know what? It's not as bad as Ben and Mahogany. Yeah, now that's, that's just really effed bad. up. Like yeah. she is twenty four. And I don't know. What, anyway, we'll and get back. We'll get to like, that. Talk he's like, to. he's like thirty years old. He's like sixty. Like, this man is pushing 60. He's 30 years older than this girl. I know. 
and then you want to get mad at her for like lying about her age and lying I about can. small stuff when I know what what I thought was very interesting about Mahogany is that she's really smart you're somebody online you are a young girl this is an old man mm-hmm. coming to you of course you're already like okay you're a creep um because I mean why are you talking to me you mm-hmm. know so mm-hmm. why should she give you all her information if mm-hmm. I'm talking to somebody old online I'm not giving them my information I'm not giving you my real name I'll mm-hmm. let you know my name's Mary but you ain't gonna know my full name you yeah. ain't gonna know my government name yeah. I don't know you I haven't seen you you could yeah. be catfishing yeah. there are so many murder shows that have people who have catfished have y'all yeah. ever seen see no evil yeah okay. okay so I'm just saying it's too much it's too much huh. people get killed by yeah. dating people online yeah. so I thought it was very smart for her not to give all of her information to yeah. him there's no reason to yeah and you want to come at or me because probably, I lied for one age yeah. you should be the one lying about your age if yeah. anything and probably if I tell you that I'm you will get. You might you, want to like do like. You might actually be pushing even me. more. Yeah, yeah. So you might even be pushing be even more. Twenty one. Like, you know, whenever men hear that a woman is really young, it just seems like it gives them the green light to just do whatever and to say whatever, thinking that she's inexperienced, she doesn't yeah. know this, she doesn't know this. But if it was somebody who was your age, you yeah. would know damn well not to pull that. Yeah. And it's disgusting. It's actually disgusting. <laughs> even. <laughs> Um, Jasmina said, you know, the fact that she went, even after she, because she told you, do not go there to see me. I'm not interested, but you still went. Yeah. And Jasmine, oh, ja- oh, Jay-Z's at the game. Yeah, he, ha- he He's been has out a and about. little bit of ownership of the Nets, the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, yeah. You know, he was uh, with um, DJ Khaled when he got his Hollywood star recently. Oh, He's really? been around. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. Sorry, we're watching the basketball game. <laughs> But no, but even Jasmina said mm. that it gave her pervert vibes yeah. when you went there. Because, yeah. I mean, you're an older guy and you're still chasing her down, still going. Yeah. So it's just a red flag. Yeah. A serious red flag. Um, but that was them. Right. I want to talk about Ben and his crazy friend Jessica and Mahogany. Oh, okay, okay. So we are, so we are, <laughs> so we have, so we are past with, with, oh, but at the end... You didn't finish saying that at the end, Kimbali, of course, came back. I mean, we all knew that. that. I will discuss it later. I'm going to talk about it later with him. We'll discuss it later. So I guess you want to keep their business in house. Anything, yeah, because you know you're not going moving, nowhere. Yeah, or moving right in, or moving right along. Pathetic. So, um, who is next? Yeah. So go Let's ahead. Let's talk mahogany about Ben and ben. in mahogany. Right. Um. So apparently, they after together. they broke up. He came and said that I'm going to come to Peru to come and show you my love, but without any cameras. To no all filming. these pictures and all filming. these videos of her. Yes, and then he put it. He he kept them all so he could show it to them when he comes yes. to the scene. And so she was just like. You know, he didn't show, tell me he was doing this, so now it's like, I can't He is a liar, yeah. you know, stuff like that. But it seemed like they were really getting along well or whatever, stuff yeah. like that. It seemed she was really falling for him, which I was very shocked and surprised that she even went back, back that like, way. Yeah. I mean, this man is no, like, he's no, what was it, apple pie. I mean, he's yeah. like a potato pie. Yeah. With, like, sour cream on top. Yeah. <laughs> like, ew. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was very um, unsettling. Yeah, and then also, you know, Jessica coming. This is why you stay out of friends business. Yes, so the friends. This is why yes, you yes, stay yes, out yes, of yes, friends yes, business. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Because the thing is, you're yes. here like, oh, I'm defending my friend. I'm protecting my friend. And next okay. thing you know, they go and they stab you in the neck yes, in front yes, of everybody yes, on yes, national yes, TV. Yes, yes, yes. What are you going to say? I'm sorry. Watching my calves, you know. <laughs> Anywho. Focus! I, <laughs> who is watching the play in game? Is anybody watching the play in game between the Cavaliers and the Brooklyn Nets? Let us know down below. Mom, we're going to draw this movie in a second if you don't see okay. <laughs> okay, but yes, yeah, so let's Ooh, talk about wait. Jessica. Okay. 
Um, she came in really hot, really aggressive, like just doing the absolute most. I know. And I know like, Ben was like, you know, why did you take money from him? And I went and I saw your Facebook picture. And, and you why were, would you be you posting so pictures of you promiscuous? Uh, you promiscuous pictures. I thought she was like naked. And she's like, you had bikinis on. I was like, huh? Girl, you came onto the show with all your breasts out. So what the hell are you talking about? So she's saying all, all of this stuff. All you saw was chichis. Yeah, the same, I mean... It was so, and so Mahogany was just like, Ben has already told me that you have a lot of drama. I don't know what and she's like. She said, I'm, what do you mean? I'm a married woman. Wait, wait. I work 70 hours a week. I and besides, she has children. And I'm just wondering, how do you have time to come on this show? But she said, but, but, this, and she was week, like, girl. besides the whole thing with Ben, that's the only effing drama that's been in my life. I know. You came on the show with drama. You came aggressive. You came rude. You came coming for everybody and they mama and then some. And then Ben, and then Ben just gaslighted. Ben said, that was well, like, this what is you the drama, drama she's talking about. This is, this the, is drama. the drama that she's talking she about. She does have and drama. And then she said, she was... <laughs> <laughs> like, I know he did not just try to air me out like some wash she's rag. Like, oh, you're a two-faced narcissist? She came for this man's neck, and then after she basically went off on her, and the Jasmine was like, "Don't try that shit with me, bitch." <laughs> it was fasting. Well, I, you know, it was, it I was am shit. exempt. Yeah, but it was hilarious. <laughs> it was that. Jasmine was like, "Don't try that with me, all." I was like, "That okay. was a mess. That was funny." But I'm like, "Girl, don't get involved because the thing is, they you might be like working, you might be like, you know, this is my friend. I yes. want to make it work. Da 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 da. But then when they go and get back with the person for the twentieth time, you look like a dumbass. Yeah, because That's you, why you, should, there, you should don't not get have involved. Gone fighting don't get these involved. Battles. That is that. That's really what it is. You shall not be there. Try what? trying to fight people's battles. Is that and Rondell? Don't make... Rondell is part of the Cavalier. Wow. Well, what? Oh my goodness! When did Rondell become part of the Cavaliers, yo? What? Okay, sorry. <laughs> You know, oh, I right. okay. I don't know nothing about the NBA, but it's just eye candy for me. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. Let it go. Um, but it's, yes. Mm-hmm. Oh yes. Oh. <laughs> Anywho. Let me lower my gaze. Silly. <laughs> but this is so um. Hilarious. Yeah. So. But yeah. So she all of a sudden. Oh, she was so upset with Ben. And so she says, you know something, Mahogany, I am sorry. I can see it From has what you said fault. that, you know, he's actually um, the his, fakest one. You're yes. the victim. Da, da, da. Right. He's a narcissist. The way she was backpedaling. <laughs> <laughs> she backpedaled out of that mess. She was she like, She was nope. done. She was like, that's it. Yeah. I'm she not, was I'm not over doing it. this at all with him. And she said, I have nothing to say to you. And so he said, what is the issue, Jessica? What is the issue? She said, like, I, I have, have nothing, nothing to say to you. You are was... fake. You are a narcissist. And you are two-faced. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> she went in on him. Okay. But this is the drama. Okay. You know, this is the she drama. She did. But she yeah. She went in on him. She backfired. She just like. That's it. I am done. Like, but it was I like she done. was just waiting for her moment on TV. Like it was just like she was doing the absolute uh, you know most. Something? I am actually happy though that she apologized. You know, like she, she only realized apologized because um <laughs> because he left her I out to dry. <laughs> they call it dramatic. I'm sure her husband is gonna be like. I, I told you he a narcissist, but you don't want to believe me. Want to be all mm-hmm. up in this drama. Mm-hmm. Probably up on the phone with him till 4 a.m. talking about mahogany. I know. When you should be taking care of your kids. <laughs> and me. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know that's for sure. Oh, I don't know wait. this lady. But that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. let's talk about... Mm-hmm. Let's talk about who? Um, okay, so we've talked about... Oh, let's talk let's about... Talk. Um, Amina and Mike, the way you told that girl to shut the f Amina up. Amina and oh, okay. I he's I, 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 well. This why is, we do that last? How about Ella, Ella and Johnny? Ella, like she Apparently, acts like she is ten years old. I know it's so like, bizarre the way it's she very behaves, right? Weird. I just wanted to have a good birthday, <laughs> and it's just 
like when she told okay. Johnny that she cheated. Like she said it so coldly. Like f you, you're not coming. Well, I let somebody enter me. How about that? Yeah, and my love language is touch. Okay. He's like, I just did it, Ella. I just, I just did it. You, it's too much. I just did it. As she like put her Ella. head back, it started to reminisce about the sex, probably. Yeah, it, Where no, she's come on, Ella, oh, you know something? <laughs> that is just too much, Ella. It's too much. And then, so for her birthday, she goes, invites some guy from an Asian, Asian white, white woman, woman website, Asian guy. Right? She doesn't God. know this guy, invites him over, and then allows him to stay at her place. Like, this woman. Because he said, oh, I'm trying to save money on first of um, all, a hotel or whatever. This is your life. Like, that can be so dangerous. You don't yeah. know this person from You don't Adam. know him from Adam. That is some crazy stuff. Anyway, so she invites him to be um with with her stay with her yeah and she wants us to believe that he stayed in the guest room and you who need touch nothing happened he flew down for your birthday stayed in your house yeah and johnny didn't know anything about this and so he's like yeah she's like well i think it's a misunderstanding i thought you had given permission yeah, I... And it was like she's trying to gaslight him. Yes. That's why I thought it was very odd. And, like, and I would not just, have invited him over <laughs> if you didn't say yes. And huh? he's just steady. He's just sitting there and he's just like... Embarrassed. What's <laughs> like, oh, Johnny. Johnny, Johnny, come on now. You know. But later on, he calls her and he's like, are you okay? Are you okay? I know it has to be hard for you over there. I'll be there in a month. And she's like, when he comes, I'm going to marry him. I'm going to marry that man. So. I was just uh, like, okay, girl. Yeah. Whatever um, rocks your boat. Yeah. But I just think, Johnny, he needs to get out. Because I can see this man, seri- I can see this woman just seriously cheating on him throughout the relationship. Yeah. You need touch that bad. Then, um. Well, hopefully he'll be there and he'll be there for her. Date somebody in your own damn country. Yeah. How about that? There are plenty of Asian Americans. And, and like someone said, you know, uh, actually a lot of you were saying that, you know, dates here. Yeah. Don't be in an international relationship like, because like, it's not going to work. My thing is there are a lot of people who, there's a lot of Asians over here in America. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm sure that you can find them on Tinder sure or whatever. You, you put your preferences and as Asian, stuff. whatever. Exactly. Exactly. But you ain't got to be doing all that. Yeah. Quite honestly, it's and just too putting much. him through that. Yeah, I but he's was co- you know they said she he's coming in a in a in a month. Yeah, and then Memphis had to leave because they really didn't she talk was about having Memphis. A lot of headache. Yeah, she was yeah, she was having a headache and she had to go. And then I was just thinking because they, she had the baby, apparently a baby girl, and I was just thinking she probably because even though what she was wearing, you see though she was everything her, was up. But just even though she was just like. So she probably had to breastfeed for, you know, it was yeah. like really hard or something. And she like she, she had, had to go a headache. And she was having a headache, yeah. And that outfit didn't look like she was snatched in, honey. I mean, she yeah. looked oh, amazing. Oh, she looked amazing. But, but I can just see imagine. that she just had to. Yeah, she, she just, just had to go I home. Because she to took go. off that dress. She was in her, like, jeans oh, yeah. and she, everything. Like, I have got to get out of here. And I, and, uh, yeah, I can see. The baby's only, what, like, less than two months I yeah, know. I'm Cutie. so happy that they had their child and everything. I thought that was amazing. That was beautiful. You know, because I we didn't know if she, you know, maybe she had a miscarriage or, or whatever something. the case yeah, may have been. Yeah, because she was all nice and snatched. Yeah, but she had the baby. But we also remember like, that this show, you know, was taped. This episode was taped three months ago. Yeah. So see, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, and um, yeah, Usman said no. Usman Hamza, he said that he that he's thinking he wanted to bring his mom to the U.S. Which I think she, I think she would actually really love that because the mom and, and her got together well. You can yeah. help with the baby while, while you rest and he rest, or and he works. Yeah. And you rest, you know, yeah. because, you know, yeah. I mean, the mother was really nice to her, very welcoming because she doesn't have her own mom or dad. Yeah. So that could be her mom. I'm sure she would be completely okay with that. I'm sure. You know, it's not like a mom who's giving sure. you drama and giving you wahala. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So... But they oh, only nice. spent, like, I mean, the episode was basically almost over. There was only 30 minutes left, and then they finally decided, oh, let's come talk about Memphis, which was only 2.3 seconds long. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I felt like there was more things to talk about with Memphis, but they really, 
they were so yeah. focused on everybody else. Like, I mean, Jessica did not need well, to I, have I think a whole one-hour she... segment. Like, for real. Like, I did not need to hear from that lady for a whole yeah. hour. Well, I mean, we had also heard about Gino, like, last time. They spent most of the time talking about Gino. That I was know. surprised How many times that they you... continued to talk about Gino and Jasmina. That was odd. Um, yeah. I mean, it's still, talking about the, it's still talking about the same thing, really. I mean, nobody wants, you know? nobody cares about you wanting Gino's wrinkled stuff. stuff. Yeah, I mean. Like, I mean, that just seems sad to yeah, me. Y'all yeah, only yeah. had sex one time the whole time you were there, <laughs> and he wanted to masturbate more than anything. Like, oh, really? let's please not go over that again today. We did that last show. Moving right along. I just thought it was Moving weird. right along, yeah. yes. It was just the same old scene. So let's talk about um, Hamena and um, Mike. Yeah. So Mike and Hamena, we have to turn off this t- television. But Eddie- but yeah, so let's talk about Amena and, is it Mark Michael. or is it Michael? Mike, Michael. Mike. Michael. Amena and Mike. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so they were at the reunion and everything. He said they had got they were- to back together. Yeah. And, you know, she said, yes, they're together. She seemed like she's in a better place with him. It seems like, she you did. know. Which I thought was She odd. seemed less stressed, actually. I don't know, maybe because there's a whole continent in between them. <laughs> or maybe he gave her her breast implants. So she looked like she had got the breast implants, right? Because how do you go from that to now you're just, like, not... Like, you have no stresses. Like, you're trying to work yeah. on it. You're trying to be a better person. Well, like, as I, she even was the mom saying, Yeah, the mom probably talked Got to in her head. Talked to her and said, look, you know, sometimes you may not love someone in the beginning. But you learn to like them. Yeah. It grows. Love grows, right? Yeah. And then the other thing is his friends came. And I didn't like the way they were they were talking about her. I did I not. thought the way the man talked about her was very I know, like, rude, and very he was so crude. rude. He was like talking about you know, do you is have... it because of her vagina or something. Because like, why, Bruce Smith said that it's this man on voodoo or whatever, that he said she had it in her private part or whatever. Oh, which so I thought was very crude. Very like very rude. out of line. Like you don't have to say all that. You might very not disgusting. like her. But at the end of the day, you should not be and more who are involved. you to be talking about her private parts. I know. Like hmm, but also child. I think Mike is somebody who will go and talk about their sex life to people. Yeah. Because he met he her. doesn't say anything. That's the other thing with him. The but thing is, he completely shut he down. Didn't, he didn't say anything to that guy who said that something so vile. But then he wants to yell at his girl, for, his, his friend, who's a woman. He wouldn't have done that to his friend. But he wouldn't male. do it to the male who yeah. was, that sounds really crude. But then he wants to Told her to shut the F up and then told her to just F you leave yes. and all that stuff or whatever. I will not have forgiven him. She came back a week. And she's like, we're going to we fight you wrong about the Dominican. Please. I'm like, our relationship is dead. You know something? Please leave the Dominican women alone. Don't find him no woman from there. He needs to find a woman from here. So she so can deal that, with him properly. Yeah. That's who he needs to find. He needs to find a woman from here. And because, you know... I think with him, he hasn't been in a relationship for 20 years, they said. Well, because he's been he on cam start, shows. Yeah. That's where he's been, on Super those porn Daddy, sites yeah, and all that stuff. So that's why you haven't been in a relationship. Probably with underage people. Ugh, the whole thing is quite disgusting. I mean, that's where you found her. And then I'm sure he was always talking to the camera about how, oh, you know, we had sex. Guess who got lucky, this, that, and the third. So I'm sure that's why the friend said something, because you're there talking to him about the sex that you guys are having. You know? So, I, you know, you Mike just acts like he's all, all innocent. kinds of boundaries with that, you know? You know? It's like the same thing Gino did, like showing nude photos, private like photos. Like all these older like men just, just really annoying. sick, you just know? Disgusting. It's disgusting. Like he tries to act Vile. all innocent with his short self, his bald this, and then his little glasses. Ears sticking like out. he's all, you know, fragile, like he doesn't do anything. But that, he's, that I think he's probably not, really that bad. That probably is not even a prescription gra- glasses. Mm. It's just part of his act. Yeah. His dress up, dress rehearsal. Exactly. So I would not put it past Mike at all. No. You know, I just think it's very and disgusting. Yeah, you know, Jimena did not speak to him right. You know, there were times that she was really rude. I know, but the thing is, you're here gaslighting that. me. And but you're here trying to make it seem like I'm some gold digger when I yeah. told you that I could work. I can do this. Yes, I don't think she should have asked for the breast augmentation or whatever. But, I mean, what do you expect? You've basically been throwing money at this girl to get her to love you. That's mm-hmm. how you led with it. So you can't be mad yeah. when she's now talking about money and how she wants this and she wants that. That's how you led 
with it. You led with money. Exactly. So how are you going to be upset? Like, it doesn't make sense to me. And then you want to play the victim. Like, oh, my God, she's trying to take my money. You gave her the money. You told her, you know, you're a cam because girl. I don't want you to do that no more. I'll take care of you. Let me be your knight in shiny you armor. Are going to get, get her. her. Because if she's depending on you completely, like mm-hmm. what abusers do, they get you to depend on them, like, completely. And then they start acting the plum fool. Yeah. Did you eat? How a cat has not been well. Yeah, I don't know. I well, mean, if y'all... Also, though, she ate. She ate something. Yeah. Anyways. But, yeah, so I just think it was just really a mess. Yeah. So... But later on, they decided that they're going to go to Cartanega. I think the place is I called. I think he said they're going to meet up at Cartanega or whatever yeah. to see how the relationship goes. And then goes. later on, she'll come to New York. Yeah. So, you know, she seemed... Happy because at first she had to walk away because they were all piling on her, and so was the group as well. My thing is, I feel like as a friend, you should not be more invested in your friend's relationship than they are. Like yeah. that's odd. Like <laughs> if my like if my is. girlfriend she's in a bad relationship, if he's not abusing her or hitting her, I'm not going to be more invested. And even in those situations. They say it takes like eight or nine times for somebody to actually leave an, a, an abuser. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you can't be so and the invested. Other thing, you don't want to, I mean, you can be invested, but you don't want to like push them away where they don't come to you at all anymore. You want to still be involved. You still want to be involved. Like she knows she can come to you and trust you. You're a safe come place to, you. to fall. You, know you want to make sure you keep yourself in the loop. But, but you're getting you so take... invested where you're just like basically turning off their partner, then you're turning them off where he has to cuss you out and tell you to shut the F up and you get the F off the stage. And then yeah. you come back. Well, if I were a Dominican guy, you would not have seen me. I would have walked out that door and that would have been it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, because it's not like I didn't tell you the things that she said. And because then you want to come and turn on yeah. me just because you want her and I've been there for you. Yeah. I That relationship would have been dead and gone. Yeah. It don't and make then, no sense. And then the other thing, too, that it's so hard because when two people are, like, intimate with each other and then you have the friend talking to you about ba- saying bad things about her or him and then you get involved, it's like you want to take on their fight. Yeah. When they make up, you usually are on the house, you know. So it's such a it's very hard to thread that needle. Yeah. In those situations, it's very hard. I mean, look at Ben and, um, well, we already talked about that. Like, he's friend. Ben and Jessica, that I friendship mean, is over. I mean, the thing is, that girl was so dramatic. Like, you came in blazing. Like, obviously, your life is so boring that you just want to yeah, be on some reality show. I was surprised show. that she has kids, has a husband. And, and you work 70 was, hours a week? And you got enough was interesting. passion in your heart to do all that? I mean, you got the energy and the time. I'm like, girl, okay. I will not have the time working that many hours at all. Yeah. I so, just thought that was really too much. I yeah. mean, but they, they want to call him a narcissist. <laughs> He's stupid. After, after he has gaslit you and throw you under the bus. Yeah. She's like, oh, hell no. You have given I'm me good advice, but you're dramatic. Yeah. yeah. He said, I apologize to you, Mahogany. I would be like, girl, okay, whatever, <laughs> bye. I know. But yeah. But that was all. I know. But yes, that was 90 Day Fiance Part 2, the finale. Yes. I don't know when the other one will be coming. I know I Single know Life is on, but I haven't really been checking for that show. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not really checking for No Neck. I'm not really checking for <laughs> That's how people refer to him on the show. rubbed us the wrong way. I don't like the way he was treating some of those women. I just felt it's just so like a weird how these older guys are so predatory. You know, all that stuff. Like they, uh, they're uh. just so predatorial. It's like it's really hard to watch sometimes. Yeah. And it's sick. Yeah. Even Gino. Jasmina, I'm very shocked that I'm honestly shocked out of my mind that she is still with him. After you snatched the hat off And you know something That she was my privacy. And you know something she's <laughs> Also, I think she's also looking, she's looking worse after all the time being with him. A man will drain the life out of you. You're not looking all that good. Mm-mm. Not with the, yeah. And that wig, where you get that from? The $2 Chinese store down the road? Mm, yeah. That was not cute look, boo. That was not. You should have just had your regular Natural hair. hair. That's beautiful. It's nice and long and you know? healthy. Yeah. 
that's she should just let that wig alone, girl. I guess she thought she was coming to American TV. Let me have the American wig. <laughs> <laughs> the bird eyelashes. Yeah, she did not look like herself. She did not. She really did not. The wig just overcame her whole face and outfit and all that. And my thing is because and she looked like she has even lost weight. Also, I feel like the theme is with Jasmine and um um Gino. Gino. It's like I don't want to say she's like mentally unstable, but there's from the a, way she a said, lot of insecurity there. I know, but the way she flipped from. You know, saying, I need to take this ring off, too. I want your meat. I Why am I begging uh, you for sex? And yeah, all that stuff. I feel like Gino is going to be able to run game on this girl for the rest of her life. Yeah. Because mentally, she doesn't have control of her emotions. Oh, that's emotions. It's not mentally. She's emotionally unstable. Yeah. That's what it is. What and it I is. don't feel like he's going to be able to run game on her. Yeah. Even though she's an older woman. And she seemed like she had some sense. Mm -hmm gonna be playing with you sis mm. and you that's why you have to get your emotions correct yeah. but you know it is a mary and um uh, thank you guys for watching we invite you guys to like share subscribe and comment down below but thank you for watching bye